Now, acute exacerbation of asthma is defined as the progressive and sudden onset of worsening of symptoms. So, you know, if there is sudden uh, onset and it worsens in respect of the routine uh, treatment that we give for stable asthma, then it is acute exacerbation of asthma and sometimes may lead to a situation where it is called status asthmaticus, which is a life-threatening and medical emergency situation. And we must be able to recognize the situation and refer the patients to appropriate facilities uh, so that lives can be saved because status asthmaticus is not relieved. It is not just exacerbation, not just requirement of uh, a higher intervention of uh, uh, treatment, but also uh, uh, Raman Kumar, it's yes. uh, been one hour since we started. Just, uh, just so I have uh, towards the end. I have just a uh, picture. So I'll be winding up in five to seven minutes. Sure, 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 sure. We no have, problem. Uh, we have almost reached uh, asthma severity management. So, sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, so to wind up, you know, you know, uh, rapid assessment of severity is important in uh, uh, mild to moderate exacerbation, prescribed meter dose inhaler with a spacer is preferred method of delivery. So method of delivery is important. Uh, systemic corticosteroid should be given to all patients with acute exacerbation. Systemic, uh, systemic means you know, oral or injectable. And they should be continued for five to seven days. And patients then are, you know, uh, changed to oral corticosteroid and then into regular inhaled corticosteroids. So this is a uh, you know, level of severity of acute exacerbation of asthma, mild, moderate, severe, life-threatening. Uh, these are the common symptoms. You know, mild, moderate will have you know, difficulty in speaking phrases and sits up, uh, not agitated. And similarly, you know, uh, severe, it speaks words, but not able to complete sentences sits forward, agitated, accessory muscles are used in life setting. It is patients are drowsy, confused, exhausted, cyanosed, uh, there's hypotension, uh, silent chest, poor respiratory effort. So these are the you know severity of acute exacerbation. And clinically this has to be you know monitored from respiratory rate, pulse rate, oxygen saturation, and these are the criteria which are available in literature and we must be aware about it. And these are the criteria this is towards the end of the you know, lecture or discussion. So all patients having persistent symptoms, you know, pregnant women should be given a special consideration, uh, deteriorating pulmonary uh, function test, uh, patients who are living alone or socially isolated because they cannot self-report many times who are vulnerable, and pers uh, persisting or worsening of hypoxia, which is, you know, fall in oxygen saturation. So these are all the criteria for uh, hospitalizations, patients having psychological problems, exhaustion, physical disability, learning difficulties, uh, drowsiness, confusion. So outright with, you know, this all you know, uh, information in background in our mind, we can decide on uh, uh, referral. Uh, this is uh, a management chart on uh, you know mild moderate and severe asthma and this you know clinical things i have already symptoms i have discussed uh, the first two tables are on you know clinical evaluation and then management part is being given the red part is for hospitals that you know earlier i talked about the uh, systemic corticosteroids oral corticosteroids and then uh, if there is underlying infection they may require antibiotics and then they have to be transported to hospitals. And you can always get this kind of charts of management. So managing and referring from communities is very, very important.